Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. It's Doom 3. We have traversed through hell and retrieved the soul cube, which is quite fun to use, so I'm looking forward to it. You are too late. Hell no longer needs that. You went to this world in vain. You saw with only the first play. The hell cake is capable of sending millions of my children into your world. And soon the fleet from Earth and their ships, we will bring this hell to Earth. Ah! Uh, thanks for revealing your evil plan. So I guess there's like a hell mouth now, and we've got to, we got to close the hell mouth. Uh, unfortunately, once we left hell, we lost all of our ammunition again. But I think that's because it wants to teach you how to use the soul cube properly. But we can't right now because it's not charged. Got him! Alright, that was a lot of damage. I mean, I, all I have are these... All I have are these, uh, grenades. I have a minigun now, so that's good. Minigun's not too bad against the guys that charge at you, so that's pretty nice. Chainsaw, alright. No shotgun makes me feel a little vulnerable, even though we're kind of at a point in the game when the shotgun isn't that super useful. So I guess we have to go back out this way. Uh, I mean, we have the most ammo for the assault rifle, though I'm not thrilled to use it. Jesus. Okay, there's the soul cube. So you can see it heals us also. How many of these things there are going to be? I, I think this is supposed to be a bit of a tutorial for the Soul Cube because you get... You can kill so many of these things, though. This is using a, a lot of our ammunition. I don't need to use it again, so I'm not going to. More? Here, let's use our pistol. Or not. <laughs> My god! Enough! 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 Is that it? See, this is now where whatever spawns next is going to get soul cubed. Because we need the, the ammunition. Not the ammunition, the health. Here, whatever you are, take that. See, that... Pretty much full healed us, so I think it's the little guys only gave me like 25 HP, but that guy gave me near full, so I'm I quite like that. Um, I, can't, I don't I don't have my plasma rifle or my shotgun, which are the two things I like to be holding while I'm. Oh god, okay. Which are the two things I tend to like to be holding while I'm moving into new areas. There's my plasma rifle, but it's not that much ammunition. There's, I was like, there's got, is there a way to go, or? So it's sort of like the whole, this whole time the soul cube was the one that was whispering to you, but we've got it now, so that should be a good thing. I hear big guy walking. This is a good time to use grenades as an ambush, right? Got him. We got him good, boys. Um, minigun or, or plasma? I'm thinking plasma. God damn it. I thought he was a ranged one. I, I would have started shooting him earlier. Got our shotgun back. Um. Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, get rid of those revenants first. Because they will... Re oh, I, I think he may have resurrected that guy. Alright, we've got the soul cube ready, and we're not at full HP, which means just take it out. You know, using this while you're already in combat, I think, is, is quite fun to figure out how you want to use it. But, uh... Whatever's coming next. Oh, hello! See ya! <laughs> 
Archvaya will definitely give us all of our HP. Oh, are you kidding me? Look at that. One extra hit, he would have been dead. Again, I don't feel comfortable with the level of ammunition that I have. I do have a... I did get the chainsaw, though. So maybe I could use that to some good effect. We have more ammo for our assault rifle than anything else. Which does not make me feel super confident. No, 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 no! We need three more kills for our soul cube. No. You know, I think it would obviously just be better to get close to the revenants because it's easy. Like their rockets can't home in on you if you strafe when right when they launch. Okay, good. We're fine. It's fine. Delta Authority, please. As I say, the door's open, I get a grenade out in order to shoot whatever's gonna be popping out to get me. So I vaguely recall being here before. I think we're working our way backwards through Delta to get back to the monorail, maybe? The monorail's crashed, though. Still alive. Oh! Hello. Looks like you might be. Sarge is gone. They've got to him. I don't know how long he's been working against us. Uh, he's no longer human. Campbell went after him. He's got to be stopped. <coughs> Hell is breaking through in the caverns. If that portal isn't closed before those ships arrive, Earth will be destroyed. Earth. That's what they've always wanted. They were there once. Lost it in the dawn of time. Now it's so close. I can taste it. It's up to you now. <laughs> Take my PDA and it's got what you need. Good luck. I'm too beat up. I'll slow you down. I'll try to make it out on my own. Okay. Sure. It's up to you now. So now we've got Swan's PDA. Ah, so I remember there was a there was the locked CPU complex way earlier. Heading to communications facility. This is the audio log of Counselor Elliot Swan dated November 15, 2145. This entire research facility is in chaos. There's at least a 90% death rate among civilian personnel. Whatever Betruger unleashed is literally consuming the base. People have been turned into some sort of undead creatures that are relentless. Campbell and I are making our way towards the communications facility. We must stop all communications. If a distress call leaves the base, then everyone here and on Earth is doomed. Okay, I guess good guy Swan. You didn't really trust him at first, but... This is the audio log of Counselor Elliot Swan, dated November 16, 2145. Campbell and I were unable to reach the main portal in the Delta Complex, but that portal may be inconsequential to a more Suffering disturbing discovery. We have uncovered reference to another portal, created by the demons themselves. A passageway between Hell and Mars. We suspect it resides within the cavern somewhere near the archaeological dig. The fleet is on its way. Campbell and I will attempt to move there and somehow either shut it down or destroy it. That... that... Hell hole must be closed before the fleet arrives. Oh, okay, we're going down. That was weird. Kill, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! <laughs> kill you too! No, don't reload now! Alright, the soul cube had already stopped healing us before we were able to re-kill that one guy, but... All right, anyway, we're back at the beginning of Delta Complex because there's the CPU door, it looks like. Some HP, already used a ton of our ammunition. Uh, let's go minigun for now, I guess. So we've traversed through several Delta, pieces of Delta Complex that we've already been through. Whew. See, at this distance, the homing won't get you. That's what it seems like, at least. 
Pointers to remember when opening sacrificial portals. Let's check. Our time is here. Soon the humans will suffer eternal torment as spoken of in the prophecy. We will feast upon their souls. When opening sacrificial portals, it is important to remember virgin blood is best. Goat blood must be no older than three days. Entrails must be removed and apportioned either before death or no later than 30 minutes. Candles must be sorted by tallest and back to shortest in front, never the other way around. Pentagrams must be drawn from the center to the outside and left to right. <laughs> sure. We've done it. All right, this was a shorter mission, but uh, we've returned from hell. Stronger than ever with the soul cube. I really just need to get my ammunition back up to snuff. Because otherwise, it's not looking too good. We got some grenades, though. We can always kill ourselves with grenades when everything's going wrong. But uh, I'll see you next time when we enter the CPU complex.